In the face of uncertainties, preppers understand the vital role of a well-preserved stockpile. Crises can lead to panic-driven decisions that jeopardize not only one's preparedness efforts, but also personal safety. The desperation that often accompanies tense situations can cloud judgment, resulting in overextending resources or mismanaging supplies. This is particularly relevant when stockpiles are viewed merely as emergency backups rather than strategic assets that require ongoing maintenance and thoughtful deployment. The video aims to address these challenges head-on by providing practical strategies for safeguarding your resources against impulsive actions. It emphasizes the necessity of staying calm and focused during emergencies, encouraging preppers to adopt a mindset that prioritizes sustainability and resourcefulness. By understanding the psychological impact of crises and learning how to adapt effectively, viewers can transform their approach to preparedness, ensuring that their stockpile remains intact and ready for when it's genuinely needed. This shift in perspective not only enhances individual readiness, but also fosters a community of informed and resilient preppers who can navigate adversity with confidence. 1. Understanding Desperation Desperation in prepper scenarios is a pervasive emotional state that can lead individuals to make hasty and unwise decisions regarding their valuable stockpiles. At its core, desperation manifests when preppers feel a heightened sense of urgency about their circumstances, be it due to impending natural disasters, societal unrest, or personal crises. In such situations, the instinct to secure one's supplies may overpower rational thought ultimately jeopardizing the very preparedness that individuals work so hard to establish. Common triggers that contribute to feelings of desperation often stem from fear and scarcity. Fear can be triggered by alarming news reports, tales of economic collapse, or the looming threat of a disaster. When threats seem imminent, individuals might resort to panic buying or rapid depletion of their stockpile, believing that immediate action is necessary to ensure their survival. This reaction can lead to poor resource management, resulting in inadequate supplies for future needs. Scarcity itself is another powerful motivator that exacerbates desperation. When preppers perceive that their resources are diminishing faster than expected, or that essential supplies are becoming harder to acquire, their anxiety levels can spike dramatically. This perception may prompt them to engage in hoarding or to share their supplies with others indiscriminately out of guilt or fear of being left alone in a crisis. Such behaviors compromise the long-term sustainability of their stockpiles and can leave them vulnerable during critical times. To combat the influence of desperation, it's crucial for preppers to develop strategies to maintain a level head amid chaos. Establishing a solid emergency plan, creating a comprehensive inventory, and regularly reviewing stockpile levels can greatly assist in alleviating anxiety. Additionally, practicing mindfulness and stress management techniques can help individuals clarify their thoughts and promote measured decision-making even in the face of adversity. Understanding desperation not only aids in personal preparedness, but also fosters a sense of community among preppers. By sharing knowledge, creating networks, and exchanging resources, preppers can bolster each other's confidence, collectively reducing the panic that might otherwise lead to rash decisions. 2. Emotional Resilience In times of crisis, maintaining emotional resilience is crucial to ensure that you can navigate challenges without succumbing to panic or despair. Emotional resilience refers to the ability to adapt to stressful situations and bounce back from adversity. This trait is especially important for preppers, who often prepare for worst-case scenarios and must stay calm to effectively manage their resources and operations. Building emotional resilience begins with self-awareness. Recognizing your emotions and understanding how they affect your thoughts and behaviors play a significant role in your responses during emergencies. It's essential to accept that fear and anxiety are natural responses to stressful situations. By acknowledging these feelings instead of trying to suppress them, you can start to gain control over your emotional state. Keeping a journal can be a helpful tool for tracking your thoughts and feelings, allowing for reflection and a deeper understanding of your emotional triggers. Practicing mindfulness techniques is another effective method for enhancing emotional resilience. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Activities such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, or yoga can help reduce stress and cultivate a sense of calm. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you will be better equipped to remain level-headed in times of crisis. Developing a strong support network is equally important for fostering emotional resilience. 
surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who understand your lifestyle. And preparedness goals can provide emotional backing during tough times. Engage with local prepper groups or online communities where you can share experiences, strategies, and concerns. Having a support system allows you to lean on others during stressful periods, reducing feelings of isolation and helplessness. It's also important to have strategies in place for specific emergencies. This preparation can alleviate uncertainty and panic. For instance, create and regularly review emergency plans that detail what steps to take during various disasters. Knowing that you have a plan can instill confidence and help you focus on managing your emotions rather than being overwhelmed by the situation. Another vital aspect is developing adaptability. The ability to adjust your mindset and plans in response to changing circumstances is integral to remaining resilient. When things don't go as expected, it's crucial to reassess and modify your approach rather than clinging to rigid ideas. Being flexible allows you to think critically and make better decisions in high-pressure scenarios. Practice self-care consistently to help maintain your emotional and mental health. Engage in activities that recharge you, whether that means spending time in nature, reading, crafting, or exercising. A well-rounded self-care routine cultivates inner strength and emotional balance, which is essential for weathering any storm. Finally, remain informed but not overwhelmed by the information. While staying up to date on news and events is crucial for preparedness, consuming too much negative information can lead to anxiety. Limit your exposure to distressing news and focus instead on actionable steps you can take to enhance your preparedness. 3. Inventory Management Effective inventory management is crucial for preppers who want to ensure their stockpile remains viable and ready for any situation. A well-organized inventory system not only helps track what items you have on hand, but also determines when to restock or rotate supplies, ultimately preventing waste due to spoilage or obsolescence. One of the first steps in managing your inventory is to create a comprehensive list of all stockpile items, categorizing them into essential groups, such as food, water, medical supplies, and tools. You might opt for a simple spreadsheet, or you could use specialized inventory management software designed for prepping. Alongside this list, it's beneficial to track expiration dates for perishable goods. By maintaining this essential information, you can ensure that items are used before they reach their shelf life, which maximizes your resources. Incorporating a first-in, first-out FIFO system is a best practice for rotating stock. With FIFO, the oldest items are used first, which helps prevent items from becoming stale or expired. For instance, when you purchase new food items, always place them behind older stock on your shelves, making it easier to grab the ones that need to be consumed first. Frequent checks of the stockpile can help you stay aware of potential issues before they become larger problems, ensuring that your resources remain fresh and healthy. Moreover, organizing the inventory in a logical manner plays a significant role in effective management. Use clear labels and designated areas to store similar items together. For example, keep canned goods on one shelf, grains in another, and have a specific area for medical supplies. Not only does this enhance accessibility, it helps to quickly assess what is available and identify any gaps or items that may need replacing. Color coding or using transparent bins can further support swift identification and sorting. Regular assessments of your stockpile should be scheduled, ideally every few months. During these reviews, you can check inventory levels, assess the condition of supplies, and update your records accordingly. This not only keeps you informed, but also allows you to plan your shopping more effectively. Watching for sales or bulk purchasing opportunities can lead to significant savings and improved stock levels, ensuring you have enough supplies when times get tough. Communication is key in managing your inventory, especially if you are part of a prepper group or family. Establishing a system where everyone is aware of what items are in the stockpile and their respective quantities can reduce the chances of unnecessary purchases. Create a shared document or app that everyone can access and update, which promotes accountability and ensures that resources are utilized wisely. Lastly, always remember the importance of security within your inventory management. Protecting your stockpile from theft or misuse is paramount. Secure storage solutions such as lockable cabinets or a dedicated room can deter any unwelcome visitors. Moreover, regularly updating your inventory system and being mindful of who has access will reinforce the integrity of your stockpile. 4. Resource Allocation In the world of prepping, effective resource allocation is crucial in maintaining your stockpile and ensuring your long-term survival during emergencies. 
The ability to ration supplies efficiently can mean the difference between thriving and merely surviving when faced with unexpected situations. The strategies to manage resources delicately revolve around understanding two fundamental concepts, prioritizing needs over wants and establishing clear guidelines for rationing. One of the first steps in resource allocation is to clearly distinguish between needs and wants. Needs are the essentials required for survival. Food, water, medical supplies, and shelter. These items should always take precedence in your planning and usage. Wants, on the other hand, may include luxury food items, comfort items, or other non-essential supplies that, while enjoyable, do not contribute directly to survival. In a crisis situation, focusing on fulfilling needs must be your primary objective, as this will ensure that you and your family maintain both physical health and mental resilience. Creating a detailed inventory of your stockpile is an effective way to get started on optimal resource allocation. Note the quantity, expiration dates, and types of all supplies. This not only helps you keep track of what you have, but also allows you to plan for usage. For instance, if certain food items are nearing expiration, prioritize these in your meal planning to prevent wastage. Establishing a follow-through plan that incorporates regular assessments of stock levels can streamline this process and ensure you always know what you have on hand. Rationing should also come into play. When faced with a limited supply, the goal is to extend the longevity of your resources as much as possible. For food, this could involve setting daily or weekly allowances per family member. For example, if you have a limited stock of canned goods, determine how many cans each person can have per week while maintaining nutritional balance. This requires careful planning, possibly rotating items within your supply to make use of older stock first, while tapering what you consume to avoid running short during critical times. Additionally, consider diversifying your stocks. Rather than relying solely on one type of food or supply, incorporate a variety. This not only keeps morale high, preventing an overwhelming sense of monotony during a crisis, but also allows for flexibility. If one type of resource gets depleted faster than expected, having multiple alternatives can keep you afloat without compromising your well-being. Another important aspect of resource allocation involves periodic reviews and adjustments. Situations may change, and so might your family's circumstances. Regularly reassess your needs based on changing situations. Whether it be the number of people in your household, dietary needs, or the nature of the emergency you're facing, being adaptable is key. Creating a flexible plan allows you to pivot quickly and modify your resource allocation strategies as needed. Effective communication plays a vital role in your resource management. Ensure that all family members understand the guidelines you've established for rationing supplies. A well-informed family can collaboratively work to ensure resources are conserved and utilized wisely. Everyone should know the importance of adhering to the set limitations and be encouraged to voice concerns or suggestions regarding resource use. This fosters a sense of teamwork and responsibility, essential in any survival scenario. Lastly, embracing a mindset of resilience is fundamental when practicing resource allocation. Often, desperation can lead to panic and irrational decisions regarding supply usage, undermining the very efforts you're making to ensure survival. Cultivating patience and maintaining a clear head is essential for making informed decisions about your resources. Keeping an eye on both the long-term picture and immediate needs will empower you during challenging times. 5. Community Support in the world of preparedness, the importance of community support cannot be underestimated. While individual planning and stockpiling are essential components of being ready for emergencies, the power of community networks in bolstering resilience is equally significant. Communities of like-minded preppers serve as vital resources in times of need, enabling individuals to share not only goods but also knowledge, skills, and emotional support. By fostering connections with fellow preppers, Individuals create a safety net that can alleviate the despair and desperation that can arise during crises. Building a strong community of fellow preppers begins with the recognition that no one person can prepare for every eventuality alone. Each individual brings unique skills, perspectives, and resources to the table, making collaboration a key advantage. For instance, one might have an extensive knowledge of foraging and edible plants, while another might excel in mechanical repairs or have advanced first aid training. By pooling these diverse skills, a prepper network can significantly enhance the overall readiness of the community, reducing feelings of isolation and stress. Begin by seeking out local prepper groups or forums where members gather to exchange ideas and resources. 
Platforms like social media or community bulletin boards often host discussions focused on preparedness, survival skills, and related topics. Attend meetings, workshops, or even webinars where you can engage directly with fellow enthusiasts. Remember, the goal is not only to gain information, but also to establish genuine connections. Once you've identified a community or group, actively participate in discussions and share your own knowledge and experiences. Hosting skills workshops or training sessions is an effective way to contribute and can help position you as a reliable member of the group. By taking the initiative to organize events such as potlucks or training exercises, you not only share your skills, but also encourage a culture of cooperation and support. As connections grow stronger, it's essential to establish trust within your community. Building trust makes people feel secure in sharing their resources, whether that involves trading supplies or lending a hand during tough times. Open communication is key. Discussing concerns, sharing plans, and organizing group projects or bulk purchases can solidify relationships and create a strong sense of group identity. For instance, forming teams to work on community gardens or shared storage facilities can yield benefits for all members while fostering camaraderie. One of the most impactful aspects of a supportive prepper community is the emotional support it provides. During crises, whether personal or community-wide, having a network to lean on can alleviate feelings of desperation and anxiety. The knowledge that others share your values and preparedness mindset can be an empowering reminder that you're not alone in your efforts. A collective approach can prevent panic behaviors, ensuring that individuals are less likely to act rashly when faced with scarcity or unforeseen events. Additionally, consider the potential for creating a mutual aid system within your prepper community. Such a system could involve pooling resources for times of need, where community members can access supplies or aid based on established guidelines. This approach can help mitigate the fear of losing stockpiles due to desperation as members know they can turn to each other for support rather than resorting to hoarding or panic buying. 6. Training and Skills Development In the world of preparedness, self-sufficiency is an invaluable asset. It's crucial to train and develop a set of essential skills that can not only enhance personal resilience, but also ensure sustainability in times of crisis. Focus on skills such as foraging, gardening, and first aid, which are foundational to maintaining self-reliance. Understanding which plants, fruits, and mushrooms are edible and medicinal can be life-saving in a survival scenario. Foraging is not just about survival. It can also connect you deeper with your environment. Learning to identify local flora and fauna helps you build a better understanding of natural ecosystems and how they function. Numerous resources, including books, online courses, and local workshops, are available for those keen to dive into foraging. Many communities also have groups that organize foraging walks, which provide hands-on experiences that are invaluable for learning. Gardening is another critical skill to develop. It offers a sustainable way to produce food and can be a therapeutic activity that brings mental balance. Starting with simple vegetables and herbs, individuals can expand their gardening knowledge over time, learning about crop rotation, composting, and permaculture principles. Community gardening initiatives can provide not only practical gardening experience, but also foster connections with like-minded individuals who are interested in prepping and sustainability. There are many resource guides available online that cover everything from soil health to pest management, ensuring that aspiring gardeners can find the information they need to successfully cultivate their crops. First aid knowledge is essential for anyone looking to maintain a prepper stockpile, as injury and medical emergencies can arise in any scenario. Taking certified first aid and CPR courses equips individuals with the skills to handle basic medical emergencies, thus preventing potential crises from escalating. Understanding how to treat wounds, manage shock, and perform basic life-saving techniques can make a significant difference in an emergency. Additionally, creating a well-stocked first aid kit tailored to your family's needs is crucial. This kit should include supplies for minor injuries, medications for common ailments, and important tools for more significant medical issues that may arise. In addition to these specific skills, developing a mindset geared towards continuous learning is essential. This means actively seeking resources and opportunities to expand your knowledge base. Books, online courses, webinars, and hands-on workshops can provide valuable information and experiences. Communities, both online and offline, offer spaces to share knowledge and skills, which can be beneficial in building resilience among yourself and others. Moreover, 
it is crucial to incorporate practical exercises into your training. Simulation exercises, such as mock survival scenarios, can prepare you for real-life situations. These exercises can help reinforce the skills you've learned and give you a physical context in which to apply them. There are many regional events such as survival camps and prepper conventions where you can practice and refine these skills while networking with other preppers. Finally, consider using technology to aid your training and skills development. There are many apps available that can assist in plant identification, first aid guidance, and even garden management. These digital tools can augment traditional learning methods and provide quick access to vital information in times of need. Investing time and effort into training and skills development creates a safety net that can significantly contribute to your and your family's well-being during a crisis. By cultivating these essential competencies, not only will you ensure the preservation of your prepper stockpile, but you will also empower yourself and those around you to thrive in the face of adversity. Building a well-rounded skill set fosters confidence and resourcefulness key attributes that are crucial for enduring challenging times. Don't underestimate the power of knowledge and preparedness. They are your best partners on the path to self-sufficiency. 7. During a crisis action plan. In times of crisis, having a well-defined action plan can mean the difference between managing a situation effectively and feeling overwhelmed by panic and desperation. One of the key components of your action plan should be detailed, step-by-step -step actions that you can take when confronted with unexpected challenges. These actions should not only guide you through the immediate crisis, but also lay the groundwork for long-term stability. Start by identifying the most common crises that might affect your stockpile. These can include natural disasters, economic downturns, civil unrest, or personal emergencies. Each scenario has its unique challenges but a solid action plan should encompass preparation, immediate response, and recovery phases. Step 1. Preparation Preparation begins with a comprehensive inventory of your stockpile. Understand what you have, where it's stored, and how you can access it quickly. Create a list of essential supplies categorized by type, such as food, water, medical supplies, and tools. Regularly update this inventory to ensure that you know when to restock essential items. Next, ensure that you have a disaster response kit ready to go. This kit should contain essential gear such as flashlights, batteries, a first aid kit, non-perishable food, water purification tablets, and any important documents in a waterproof container. Consider having a go bag for each family member that contains personal necessities like clothing, medication, and identification. Step 2. Recognizing Warning Signs Being aware of warning signs is crucial for adjusting your stockpile strategies effectively. Keep an eye on local and global news that may indicate potential crises on the horizon. For example, spikes in inflation, supply chain disruptions, or increased natural disaster risks should prompt a review of your stockpile. Look for signs within your community, such as increasing tensions or unusual behavior from those around you. If you notice preparations ramping up dramatically in your neighborhood, it may be time to ensure your supplies are sufficient to face an upcoming challenge. Step 3. Immediate Response when a crisis materializes, refer back to the action plan you've prepared. Your first step should be safety. Ensure that you and your family are out of harm's way before attending to supplies. Remove any hazards in your immediate environment and make a checklist of what needs to be done. During the crisis, conserve your resources wisely. Ration food and water when necessary. Don't let fear guide your consumption habits. Reassess the volume of supplies you have on hand and how long those supplies will last. This will help you make informed decisions on when to reach out for additional resources if possible. Step 4. Communication. Maintaining open lines of communication during a crisis is imperative. Use various channels to keep in contact with family, friends, and neighbors. Share information on available resources, advice on preparedness, and any needs you may have. Working cooperatively within your community can lead to better outcomes for all involved. If you're part of a local prepper group, Leverage that network for collective stockpiling or resource allocation. Having a team can stabilize feelings of isolation and fear and foster an atmosphere of cooperation. Step 5. Recovery and Assessment Once the immediate crisis passes, turn your focus to recovery. Assess what supplies were used, what needs replacing, and what adjustments should be made to your stockpiling strategies. Reflect on the effectiveness of your action plan and make necessary alterations to better prepare for future crises. Consider documenting the entire experience to serve as a valuable learning opportunity. Write down what worked, what didn't, and how you can improve your strategy moving forward. 
This active reflection will equip you to handle any similar situations more adeptly in the future. In conclusion, effectively managing your prepper stockpile during a crisis is essential to ensuring that you can weather any storm without succumbing to desperation. By planning ahead, maintaining communication, and assessing your resources wisely, you can safeguard your supplies and support your community. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What strategies have you found most effective in preserving your prepper stockpile? Please leave a comment below, like this video if you found the information helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on preparedness. Stay safe and well prepared.